welcome back to my channel. My name is Marla and I am so, so excited that you decided to click on this video. Today, I wanted to film something a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna be filming just a get ready with me trying new products. These aren't gonna be like all new products to the market per se, but they're gonna be newer products to me. Um, I recently posted a collective makeup haul where I showcased a lot of these products and I just really went on a shopping spree, I guess, and I bought a lot of new products that I haven't really played around with yet. So I wanted to just do this video and kind of focus on using those products, giving you all my preliminary thoughts um, on what I think about them. And um, I also just felt really like creative and motivated to play with color. Um, I kind of played around with color yesterday and I, I just really, really enjoyed myself. So I wanted to go ahead and come on here and play with some color with you all. I did do this kind of like um, green to pink shadow today and I think it looks really really gorgeous um, so yeah hopefully this video inspires you to take out some palettes and play with some color if you don't have these products then you don't need them um, you can go ahead and just use some products that you have similar in your collection I really love how the look came out had a lot of fun playing with makeup today was a really good makeup day um, so hopefully you all enjoy this video and let's go ahead and get right into the look let me know if you have any questions on anything that I use and I will be happy to answer in the comments below but yeah let's get right into the makeup all right so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the look I zoomed you guys in a little bit I am using a new like mirror screen thing over here to this side so I might be looking off to the side just to make sure I'm in frame um, but hopefully this setup is working well for both of us and we can you know get this going i'm kind of learning as i go so you know it's not the most professional setup this is the look that i'm going to be working with today i really 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 wanted to combine the pink shades with like those grungy greens so this is what i came up with um so yeah i'll just walk you guys through what i did and we can kind of just get this video going so first thing I'm gonna start with is I'm just gonna prime my lids I'm gonna use painterly paint pot from Mac have a good little dip in it so I just want to continue using it hey I just want to try out a lot of different makeup products I kind of just want to play with makeup um, yesterday I actually did that I played with the strawberry milkshake palette from alien cosmetics and it was a lot of fun um, and I really used a lot of color. I'll insert a picture here of the look that I did. Um, but sometimes I just feel like I need a creative outlet and playing with makeup really relaxes me. It lets me get my creative juices flowing. So this is the best way for me. Well, I am gonna be using the Kaleidos uh, Flower Punk palette. It's a gorgeous palette. I mean, you have like these grungy colors, you have these pinks, you have these teals on the end. Um, and I just think it's a really gorgeous palette. So the first thing that I did is I actually took a blending brush. This is going to be from Profusion. And I went into the color Peach Soju. It is going to be kind of like this dusty rose, dusty mauve shade. And I started actually on my inner part of the eye just kind of laid that pink down kind of leading into my nose contour area if you will I figured as I'm getting ready I'll kind of give you guys my preliminary thoughts this is the first time that I'm playing with the palette so of course these thoughts can change but this specific shade in particular is a really beautiful matte shade. I don't think it's powdery. I don't think it's chalky. I think it just applies really beautifully. So I actually really like it. The next shade that I'm going to go into is going to be Golden Age. It's going to be this kind of like pukey green shade right here. And I'm going to take that on a um, another blending brush. This is kind of more of like a tapered one. Um, and this is the E25 from Sigma. I'm gonna just take that kind of on one side of it and start placing that on my crease. At this moment, I'm not really focused on blending it out too much. I'm kind of more focused on placement 
and I will kind of worry about the blending later on. I'm gonna also start applying it to the outer V and kind of start developing the same shapes that I have going on over here. How are you guys doing? I hope that you are all doing good. Summer weather is about to get started here um, and I'm not too excited for it because I get really hot really easily and it puts me in kind of like a bad mood to be quite honest. So I'm definitely not ready for hot girl summer. Um, but you know, seasons change, life continues. And um, I softly started blending that into the pink shade. It's kind of gonna form this almost like light brown shade. That's just naturally what's gonna happen when you're blending a green and a pink together. But I'm just trying not to like over blend it because I just don't want to muddy it up too much. But I do just kind of want to unite them a little bit. So I am gonna start deepening up my crease. Um, I'm going to take a smaller detail blending brush. This is the Sigma E42. It's the Precision Firm Blender. It looks like that. It's just a tiny little baby. And I'm going to take the shade Earthship. So it's the darkest green shade here. And I'm just going to really start de deepening up that outer crease area. Building that color. For, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't give my preliminary thoughts on the other green. So the first green that I tried, I think it's a really nice color. It does give that like murkiness that I'm looking for and it's easy to apply. I think it's not powdery. It's very nice to work with. This darker green is the one that I have trouble with and it's doing it again on this side. So um, I feel like maybe it's just this shade in particular but I feel like it's kind of patchy I don't know if you can see how there's like color missing from from the bottom half of this and even if I build it up it just looks very very patchy um, I think this color just might struggle from um, from being like buildable on top of other shades I have a feeling that maybe if I would have applied this one first and then gone in with the lighter green, it would have worked a little bit better. But I tend to go lighter to darker instead of darker to lighter. So that's just my personal preference when it comes to makeup. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of disappointed that that shade is behaving that way. And the other thing is that it kind of collects up here and I found that same thing over here. It kind of collects up here where I don't have that much of the other green shade. So I just feel like it doesn't really play that well with other shades under it, um, which is a bummer. But what I did to kind of combat that is I went back into the other shade with the bigger blending brush. And I kind of just started blending them together. And I'm not going to be too concerned about how this inner part is looking right now. I'm going to add that shimmery green, green shade right there. So I'm not really going to worry about it too, too much. So I'm going to go in with the shade Stained Glass. It's going to be kind of like this um, lilac. I don't know how to describe it. This shade right here, it's like a pink lilac shade and it looks super beautiful. I'm going to just show you all. It, I feel like it's almost like a duochrome. And so I'm gonna just take that on my finger. This is a very thin shade, it's not chunky. It almost has like a little bit of a translucent base to it. And I'm just taking that on the inner third of the eye, bringing it up towards the mauve shade. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go into Sun Gazer, which is this green sparkly shade. This one is a little bit more opaque and more chunky than the other one. Um, so that's kind of what we're working with. And I'm going to apply this to this space here. I'm going to be a little bit more precise with my, pl with my placement just because this one is a lot more like pigmented and opaque. And with this one and the other one, I do have a little bit of fallout, more with the green than the pink, but I think they're both really beautiful and special in their own way. I really like the shimmers. I'm kind of blending that upwards, blending that towards the 
dark outer corner and I'm kind of mixing them together right here as well. Oh, that looks so pretty. I really like it. And then I'm gonna go back in with that smaller blending brush, nothing additional on the brush. And I'm just gonna clean up the corner again. That's pretty much it for the eyes. The only last step that I always take is I do go in with a cream like skin tone shadow. This is Max Blanc type. And I just go under my brow bone. And this kind of always helps with cleaning up and blending any of those transition shades. So overall, I really like how this look came out. I, I think it looks really nice. Um, I'm just kind of disappointed in the dark green shade. I feel like that shade, I'm just using a bit more of the shimmer here. Um, but I feel like that dark green shade just didn't work that well on top of the other green and I just wish it would allow me to do my makeup in the way that I'm used to which is going from light to dark. I do feel like there is a little bit of patchiness still when I look at some of that matte part but I'm really content with the shimmery part so that's kind of making up for it um, and I also really really love that I stepped outside of the box and that I used like a pink and green um, color story on my eyes because this is not something that I typically do. Typically I would be more like monochromatic and just do either greens or pinks. So I'm happy that it kind of pushed me to do something outside of my norm and I like how it looks. So yeah, let me go ahead and zoom out. We're gonna start on my face and then we will come back and finish the eyes in a little bit. All right, so for my foundation today, I am using the um, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I do have it in the shade 4. I purchased this foundation maybe like two or three months ago and to be quite honest, the couple of times that I've used it, I haven't been like overly impressed by it. I mean, I think it's a fine foundation, but since it does have that high price point, I guess I kind of just want to be wowed and it's just not something that has wowed me. I feel like maybe what might have happened as well is, you know when you kind of like build up something in your mind and you feel like it's gonna be this amazing thing because it's so hyped? I feel like maybe that's what happened. It was just such a hyped product for such a long time that it just didn't, It there was no way it was gonna meet those expectations I had of it, you know? But alas, here we are. Um, I am using a Stands Out Beauty Sponge. It is damp, but you can use this sponge dry as well. All right, so we got our foundation on. Um, I mean, overall, I guess it does look nice. It looks very just like a natural finish, and I think the color match is perfect. So for my concealer, I am actually trying to finish this one up. I basically don't have any left, um, but I'm just scraping the tube. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is gonna be in the shade Vanilla. I already have a backup of this. This is one of my favorite Holy Grail concealers. It has been for years. I've probably been using this concealer since high school. So I guess this product isn't really anything new, um, but it's one of my favorites and I definitely recommend it. I'm kind of trying to think if I want to put lashes on today, kind of leaning towards not. I haven't been in the lash mood. Oh, it's coming together, everyone. So for my, um, bronzer and my blush and all of that i am gonna go into powder products but i do want to use a cream product to kind of sculpt my face a little bit not necessarily contour but just kind of start re-adding those shadows back in i have used this product fairly consistently this is the kiko milano sculpting touch creamy stick contour this is in the shade 200 and i just i really love it uh, it's not a new product but it's something i've been using in my daily routine and i feel like using it today and i kind of just start adding a little bit of shadow back to the face I, I don't think i've reviewed this product on my channel yet 
from Kiko Milano, but I do have three other Kiko Milano reviews at this point. So I do recommend to watch those. I'll link a, um, I'll link the playlist up in the cards. That way you all can go and see it. I did finally create a playlist just because it's one of it's been one of my favorite brands to review and I don't think that there's a lot of people talking about it, which kind of surprises me because they have a ton of good products. Some duds, obviously, just like any other brand, but they do have a lot of good products as well. And um, hopefully I can do another review soon. And I kind of take that along my cheeks and I take it along my temples as well all right so let's go into one of the newer products for me you might have seen this in my collective haul that i did recently i'll also link that in the card so you can go check it out i purchased a lot of new makeup in these past couple months which is why i wanted to do this video as well just to start trying my products and using them more often the product that i'm going to be utilizing today is going to be the gucci face powder this is in the face powder shade 00 i believe it's their lightest shade and that is what the shade looks like i ended up going for the lightest shade because i actually mainly use face powder under my eyes i don't tend to powder my entire face at least not normally so that's why i decided to go with the lightest one I'm gonna just take this on this brightening brush. This is from Alamar Cosmetics. I did get this in a boxy charm, and I actually really like it. And I'm gonna just start under my eyes. Um, I also take the powder kind of like on this area where I have my more pronounced pores, and I also take it along this area because I do get um smile lines because i do have little fluffy cheeks and so setting that area with powder kind of helps with the foundation settling in that area and then i do also take it just around my nose next i want to go ahead and use my bronzer that i wanted to try this is gonna also be from gucci both of these come in like a little velvet pouch by the way they're super luxe and cute and the component for the bronzer you've probably seen it but it's this teal like tiffany blue color same exact component just a different color and i got the bronzer in shade 03 it's kind of hard to pick out your shades to be quite honest i ended up going with 03 because the lightest one was just a little bit too pink and I felt like it was gonna almost look like a nude blush. I'm gonna take it on an angled brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. And I'm gonna go in with a light hand just because it is kind of a darker bronzer. I'm gonna just start tapping that on the areas where the sun would hit, bronzing up my face. I worry, I worry when I really like nice things because then that means I'm gonna wanna repurchase said nice things. This was a gift from my mom for my birthday. It was really nice of her to get it for me. I'm just taking a foundation brush and just kind of blending out the bronzer. All right, y'all, I did the other side and I love it. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, I'm just adding a little bit to my jawline. Okay, I'm really glad that I brought that out and I used it. Um, for blush, I'm gonna also use something fairly new to myself. This is the Clinique Cheek Pop Palette. This was one of their holiday releases. I was able to snag it on QVC on their website, but I believe that this is all sold out already. But from my understanding, each of these shades are sold individually. So I think this is Nude Pop. Ooh, I don't know the other shades. I'll list them though in the description box if you're interested in any of the other shades. Um, the color that I'm gonna be using today is gonna be the middle shade. I'm gonna use kind of like this pink shade and maybe I'll mix in a little bit of Nude Pop with it. And I'm gonna go in with an angled blush brush. This is a complexion brush from Alamar Cosmetics. So I'm gonna go in with that pink first. I've heard really good things about these blushes, which is why I bought them. Um, Lauren May Beauty 
if you don't follow her or subscribe to her on youtube you really need to because she's amazing um she is always raving about these and i am super into blush currently so of course i had to get it i'm actually not even gonna add the nude pop i don't think it's necessary i was worried about the pink being too pink and overpowering but i think it's a very natural pink so i'm gonna go ahead and just go with it and leave it be so the highlighter that i'm gonna actually use is gonna be from the odin's eye um norns collection this is the web of destiny blush it looks like this and i'm gonna just start applying that i think it looks perfect with the look i have today but of course there are some days where i want a more subtle sheen but just look at that it's just a beautiful iridescent pink i think it looks really nice let's see so we got lips to do which i'm kind of leaning towards just using a gloss actually for my lips today i'm gonna use this product i didn't show this in my collective haul but this is new to me as well this is the rare beauty um what does she call these? She call the she calls these dewy lip balms. This is in the shade Praise. The other one that I really like is like a nude shade. This is more of like a peachy pink. Over top of it, I'm gonna use this new lip gloss that I got from Pat McGrath. This is the Love Potion lip gloss. It is just like a pale pink shade, and it does have some little sparkles throughout. Mm, that feels so nice on the lips it feels like it has like a slippery texture to it almost like a lip oil it does not feel very sticky or um, goopy or thick in any way um, so yeah that's a really nice lip gloss and it smells so good it smells like candy I really like it so that's gonna be it for the face and the lips actually and we're almost done with the look which is super super exciting i'm gonna go ahead and just finish like the bottom part of my eyes i was kind of wondering what i could do and i think what i'm gonna go with is i'm gonna go with like a dark green um lash line i'm gonna smudge golden age the screen on my bottom lash line first I'm gonna add a tiny bit of the darker green with the smaller little blending brush just on the corner sorry i zoomed you guys in because i forgot to do that previously so i just smudged out that dark green on that outer part and then i'm taking a little bit of that shimmery pink shade actually kind of like on the inner corner and kind of towards like the inner bottom third of the eye just to add a little bit of light and kind of just unite the looks that I'm going for. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take a light pink um, eyeliner and I'm going to just line my waterline on my bottom line. Line my bottom waterline. Wow. Um, let me just grab that really quick. I'm probably going to use a ColourPop one. So I will be back in a second. So I grabbed this ColourPop cream gel liner. This is in the shade Fluffy. Not sure if this was limited edition or not. I really like how that looks. I think that looks really nice. And I'm just gonna throw on some mascara. I'm gonna be using the Monsieur Big, Monsieur Big mascara from Lancome. Lancome, Lord, I cannot speak gonna just curl my lashes really quick so i'm not gonna put mascara on my bottom lashes i just don't prefer to do that um i have really bad bottom lashes and i just feel like it closes my eye off too much so i'm gonna go ahead and just leave it like this this is the eye look that we are working with i really like how everything came together um i'm kind of upset about the dark matte shade being kind of patchy but I feel like the shimmer is made up for it and I just really love how my eyes look right now. I love the contrast of the pink and the greens and I just really like how the look came together. So hopefully you all liked this eye look. Let me zoom out and then we'll kind of just look over the whole look together. All right, everyone. So this is the finished look. 
I really love how everything came together. I think it looks really, really nice. Again, you know, a couple little mishaps with the eyeshadow in terms of the darker matte shade. I've, I've already mentioned that. Shimmers are beautiful. I'm excited to play with the palette some more. In terms of the face products, I actually really enjoyed the foundation today. I think maybe I'm just expecting too much of it and I think that I have to appreciate what it's for and and the purpose of the foundation which is just meant to be a luminous daily wear foundation that's going to just have this natural finish and so thinking of it from that perspective i think that the foundation looks really really beautiful in terms of the bronzer and the face powder i mean i just put on the bronzer and face powder so i don't know the the durability of the products but in terms of how my face looks right now i think my skin looks really really nice I think the blush is beautiful. I think the powders sit beautifully on the skin. My skin looks really luminous and glowy, just how I like it, but not in excess. I think that the bronzer shade is a nice bronzer shade. I just, there's nothing I didn't like today, everyone. Um, I, I feel like I'm just having one of those days where your makeup goes really, really well, and it's nice. It's nice to have those days where your makeup goes well and where um, filming went smoothly. And yeah, I'm kind of excited to just keep going on my day, keep being productive, and I'm in a really good mood today. Um, so I'm just gonna take advantage of that. Thank you so, so much for spending some time with me, watching me play around with all these products. This palette, I think it is a permanent palette in the Kaleidos collection. So if you are interested in the palette, then you know, you can definitely check it out on their website. Um, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I will see you on my next video, and I hope that you have a good day. Bye!